I really think it's a lifetime opportunity to be able to discover this music that's been sitting in the library for almost 100 years. It's, uh, it's fascinating to learn Röntgen's handwriting and to decipher how he notated his music. And since it's not in print, it's quite difficult at times. We've had them all copied and, and we're working from the manuscript, which is a great experience because we're not very used to that anymore. And we're um, learning them all and discovering them all and putting them all on disc. And we will have a release every six months and there will be four CDs in total, four trios per CD. Reichen's house in Beethoven is named Gaudiamus, which means let's enjoy life. And I think this is quite symbolic of Reichen's music, which is passionate, exuberant and full of life. We're now in, in the house where he lived while writing the latter part of the trios. Um, so that's also quite interesting to, to see where it all happened. It was fantastic to see the old photos from the 1920s and 30s of, of Röntgen's um, family and his grandsons and uh, his meeting with Pablo Casals. Röntgen uh, wrote the trios quite late in life and he had lots of sons and apparently he played these with two of his youngest sons. They were quite young when he started writing these um, trios so they must have been very good because technically the trios are not the easiest thing you can find. He's not trying to be avant-garde in any way. He's, he experiments a lot with different time, sort of often there's sort of quite quirky time signatures, like five in a bar. Or... He somehow manages to do that in a way that it has a swing. It's extremely generous music in a way. It's very imaginative and he pushes the boundaries actually quite a lot. Of course, it's a bit of detective work, guessing what the composer was like and using all means you have to get there to create you you paint your own picture of the of the composer thanks to the cashier's price we are able to do this project. We are very grateful to them for this um, financial support. It's a Dutch prize and so we wanted to, to find something Dutch that we could really sort of represent our prize with. It's a shame that it wasn't published before, but it's great for us that we can now bring this music to the world and show everyone how wonderful it is.